Have you had one of these things? I have These ghost things? Yeah, Sour Patch Blue Raspberry is bonkers, but I feel, I feel a little bit jittery, lots of caffeine. There's a, there's a potential here that I could talk like Dustin. What's going on? What's going on guys? I'm Fuller from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube, and today I get to show you some of my favorite wheels off of our website. And I think I did a decent job here trying to showcase everything from your uh, 20 by nines that fit on stock trucks all the way up to some massive 26 by 14s that are gonna look absolutely killer on a massive show truck with, you know, a, a eight inch or a 10 inch lift. And I've even got something completely nuts to show you at the end, so just stick around for that, all right? So yeah, uh, these are my top five wheels based off the size requirements that Junior gave me when I walked in the door this morning. And on the topic of size, obviously uh, fitment here is gonna depend very heavily on your tire size too. And you guys already know that if you need you know, the whole deal, the, the wheel tire package, uh, we'll get these things mounted and balanced for you and still ship them to you for free. So uh, just for reference here, depending on how wide you go with the wheels, that also affects how tall of a tire you can run. A nine wide with a zero offset might be able to tuck 35s on your truck. But if you go out to 14 wides, you'll have to run some 33s to still be able to turn on that same truck. If none of these numbers made any sense, well, we've got several videos on what offset is and how the width and diameter are measured. So that should help you figure out that perfect fitment for your truck. So anyway, to kick things off, we're looking at the 26 by 14 TIS 561B with a negative 76 offset. Uh, this wheel borrows some styling from other wheels in the TIS line, but it's still unique enough to set you apart from everyone who bought the 544 three years ago. So they call the 561 a 10 spoke, but it looks like way more than that uh, with the split Y spoke design and the sharp angled spokes. Now they're available in both six lug and eight lug. Uh, they've got exposed lug holes, so you can run the spike lug nuts if that's something you wanna do. And now if plain black isn't your thing, you can always get these uh, with a machined face and red accents, or they even have a red with milled accents. So all of the colorways have TIS off-road milled into the lip, but it's really, really subtle on the black ones since it's all black. As far as price goes, these are right around $3,000, but don't leave just yet, okay? The wheels get cheaper uh, as we go on here. So moving down a bit in size, we're gonna look at the 22 by 12 Archon Da Vinci, which is probably my favorite wheel from the Archon team right now, which I guess is redundant to say because this video is about my favorite wheels by size. But anyway, a uh, super clean design, totally opposite of the last wheel. This one's got very, very thin spokes, clean lines. It's proper directional, uh, which is rare in the cast wheel world. Uh, it's available in, in black and chrome. So personally, I think chrome is probably the better finish on these, which is probably why they sell out and go on back order. Uh, but the black is super, super sharp too. The 12 wide Smarcon also have a negative 51 offset, which is a bit more than standard. So you get a little extra wheel poke for a more aggressive stance and a massive lip that looks almost endless between the spokes. So whether you wrap these in, in big giant mud tires or you put street tires on them, I think you can really make them work on both styles. The price point on these comes right in at around 1800 bucks. So they're a solid value for the money. Now taking a look at the classic 20 by 12 size, we've also got the classic styled Moto Metal 970. And I say classic because when we launched custom offsets, 20 by 12 was pretty big, like big show size. And then as the years went on, 20 by 12 became the new normal. Now the MO 970 isn't new, but it still makes a list because it continues to be one of the best selling wheels, especially in 20 by 12 sizing because it's simple style just works on literally everything. Plus they have a lot of finish options, black, black and milled, black and gray, or anthracite if you want to sound fancy, uh, and black and machine as well. So on top of that, you can get them in five lug, six lug, and eight lug. So uh, your Jeeps, Rangers, full-size trucks, and the heavy-duty trucks, they got options for all of that. Price point on these is right around $1,400, and it does depend on, on what finish you go with and what bolt pattern you select, but that's at least ballpark for you, so you know kind of what you're looking at and what to expect. Now, when we get to these 20 by 12s, we start um, getting down to sizes where if you ran uh, like 20 by 12 and 30, three by 12 and a half inch tires, you can probably stuff those on a truck that's leveled if you wanna do some major trimming or put them on a, a smaller lift, like three and a half or four inches. So I gotta throw out the disclaimer though that you probably can't level your Chevy Colorado and expect to fit uh, 12 wides and 33s, okay? Don't be silly. Use the tools on our website uh, on customoffsets.com so that you can still turn and drive your truck after the wheels are bolted on, okay? Okay. 20 by 10s are next up on the list uh, and there's literally like 10 million options here, but I've gotta go with the Anthem Avenger. So the 20 by 10s come with a negative 18 offset, so you, you get a nice stance without having to worry about doing much more than a leveling kit. The Avenger leans more towards the off-road style, but for sure still has like that show quality paint finish uh, with options in gloss black and milled as well as satin black. A unique thing with Anthem is that on most of their wheel styles, the wheels are actually manufactured without a bolt pattern drilled in. And why that's important is if you have a truck with an uncommon pattern, 
pattern like when Ford made a stupid seven lug for some reason, you can still get aftermarket wheels. So trucks, SUVs, I mean, I guess even cars if you really wanted to, you can get these wheels drilled for your bolt pattern. And when I, when I say you, I mean we, because I don't wanna see you trying to drill a bolt pattern with a cordless drill in your driveway, okay? Let us handle that. We've got the equipment, so you just check out like normal, fill in your vehicle information, and we'll make it happen for you for around 1400, 1500 bucks for the set of four. Now, once we get down into the, the smaller sizes, the 20 by nine sizes, uh, here there's gonna be options that are gonna work really good for trucks that are maybe running stock suspension. Uh, and although TIS is kind of known more for their big stuff, they actually do have a decent selection of offerings in the smaller sizes too. So here we're looking at the 20 by nine plus one offset 5.56, and no, it's not a rifle. Uh, the 5.56 is available in two finishes that are the inverse of each other. So either black with a gray ring or gray with a black ring. And I really dig how flat the center cap is on these. It doesn't stick out or look big and gaudy, which is really nice. The ring around the rim of the wheel has some pretty intricate details uh, that give it an aggressive style that would work really well in an off-road style build. But I also could see this looking really uh, rugged too for like a 2500 or an F250. Bolt patterns change depending on what size you go with, but there's still plenty of availability for all the popular makes and models out there. And since these are new, there's some exclusivity to these. And with that comes a price tag of around 1700 bucks for the 20 by nines, which is a little steeper than some of the other brands, but you're getting a brand new wheel that no one else has. Uh, and if money is, is no option though, uh, I mean, I'd probably just go with the Fuel Forge FFC 39. It's a little over 10 grand for the set of 26 by 16s. But hey, if you buy them, I'll fly out and shake your hand. I promise. So if you want to pick uh, those up or maybe some more realistic style wheels, you can find all of those things on customhousesets.com. We'll get you hooked up. Peace.